Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to configure password settings in NopCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.90. So, one of the main development efforts in every NopCommerce version cycle is to improve security and make the platform safe. That also includes the way passwords are configured and changed. So, Let's go ahead and see how we can configure password settings in NopCommerce because it's very important for all these store owners to learn how passwords are managed in NopCommerce. So let's go to the administration section. And from here, we will go to configuration, settings, and customer settings. And on the customer settings, we can see the section here. Basically, it says password and security. And here we can define or configure all the passwords in NopCommerce. And remember, all these settings that you, whenever you decide to change these settings, this settings will only affect new registrations only. So, first settings basically um, password minimum length. You can define the minimum length of the passwords for your customers. So, you can either increase or decrease the length depending on your requirements. Second setting is unduplicated password numbers. It's basically just to specify the number of customer password that must not be same as the previous one. So right now it's four. So if you enter zero, the customer can use the same password again and again while resetting it. So default password format, you, you have three options to select again. Once again, whatever format you select for the password, that will only affect new registrations only, not the existing accounts. So right now I have it on hashed password lifetime. So by default, this setting is set to 90 days and password lifetime simply defines the lifetime of a password or after these like 90 days, the password will expire. But remember, in order to for this policy to take effect, you have to enable this feature in customer role, which we will discuss later in this video. And password recovery link. This is basically the validity of the recovery link. So right now I have it seven. So after seven days, it's going to expire if somebody reset the password and do not change it. Here it's maximum login failures. This setting is simply um, that if you want to lock out the customer if they are attempting to enter wrong password and right along with this settings this this setting goes hand in hand basically for how much time you like them to lock out so if you enter a wrong password for let's say three times they'll be locked out for 30 30 minutes and after that they can try it again and this last setting simply just to force customers to enter their email address twice on the registration page and because many times what happens is if you just allow once sometime there is a typo in the email address hence you get a bad email in your database and sometimes customers do not get let's say validating email that their account is not activated if you have that kind of registration activated so it's 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 a good way to uh, keep the database clean you don't have to but uh, it's always good practice. So as we were talking about the password lifetime here, like I mentioned before, in order for this feature to to work, you have to define this in the customer role. So let's look into that. So once you define, let's say 90 days, that's the lifetime of a password. Now let's go to the customers and customer roles. And from here, let's pick um, any role for an instant registered customer. That's a standard default role. And here we can you can simply enable this feature. So once you enable this feature for this particular role, which is registered, the, the lifetime of the password will be 90 days and whatever number that you have defined in the settings. And it's always a good practice to use this feature on administrator role as admin have access to sensitive store information in settings and you know it's it's important to keep the admin um, accounts secure so it's always good practice so you can always 
make sure that you have the setting enabled for administrator role so that the old password is expired and you're resetting the password again and again after 90 days or whatever number that you have to find in your settings. So this is how we configure password settings in OpCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knopcommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.